so dear students we are going to start the actually vector calculus so firstly we are starting vector differential vector differential calculus so before starting vector differential calculus firstly we need to know about the three dimension position vector right so you can have the topic three dimensional position vector so what do we mean by three dimension position vector this is nothing but vector r so it is favorite for all the iits and gate examination what is the vector r it is nothing but xi cap plus yj cap plus z k cap this is what we are having the vector r so let us analyze the vector r first so if i am having the vector r's modulus so it is nothing but scalar r which is mod of vector r it is nothing but first i then means x square plus y square then last k that means z square correct so this is nothing but the mod value it is represented by this r and r cap is nothing but r cap is nothing but what vector r divided by its mod value r or we can write r vector it is what r vector upon vector r so this is nothing but only direction so i'm having only direction with the help of the r cap there is no problem right so why i am using r because it is the favorite because in the question directly iit uh in iits or we can say in the gate question paper you can uh, see directly r written in the question paper directly r that means what it is nothing but xi plus yj plus zk dear students right so so i am uh, starting with the vector differential calculus so let us have some results related with the r so if i need to calculate the del r by del x so it is nothing but del r by del x what we are having is del by del x of this scalar r so what is a scalar r it is nothing but under root of x square plus y square plus z square so this is what 1 upon under root that means 2 root value of x square plus y square plus z square correct and with respect to x i am having what into 2x absolutely fine so 2 2 is deleting out so i am having what x upon root over x square plus y square plus z square so it is nothing but x by r you can see it is nothing but x by r because under root x square plus y square plus z square is nothing but r so similarly see it is the symmetric about it is symmetric in the form of x in the form of y in the form of z we have added in the and 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 also the powers are same so we can directly have similarly so i'm having similarly del r by del y it should be equal to y by r because del r by del x is what x by r so it is nothing but y by r and also dear students if i am writing del r by del uh, z so it is nothing but z by r so we'll have some results right so i'm having there is result del r by del y y by r del r by del x we have just taken this result out by uh, differentiating this is nothing but x by r and del r by del z is what z by r so this is what we are having r then what is the uh, what is the vector differential calculus 3 uh, the all the vectors are in the maximum three dimension position that means if i am having the vector point function or a scalar point function it should be point function that means it is nothing but if i am having the vector point function it is also the function of x y and z that means three dimension and if i am having the scalar point function this is also the function of x y z in the three dimension so so the mathematician thought that what can be in the form of the vector derivative and also it is the three dimensional so in the three dimensional if we need to differentiate that means what we need to have the partial differentiation right so i'm having the del operator which is nothing but nebula operator the del operator is nothing but i in the with respect to x i'm having because i is what i is nothing but what it is the it is, it is what it is the unit vector along the x axis so i del by del x and here we are having what j del by del y and i'm having k this is nothing but del by del z so it is the introduction 
and again if you are having the unit of del if i am writing the unit value of del unit of delta so unit of delta we can have the with this single term i is unitless del del is cancel out so it is 1 by x so unit of del is 1 by x that means 1 by m or we can say m inverse fine so unit of del is nothing but m inverse so unit of del is nothing but m inverse unit of del is nothing but m inverse right so what is if if it is a del operator we can write here a del operator i am writing here del operator because our syllabus is based on the del operator i am writing operator right so gate is incomplete without this del operator correct so if it is operator it will come with the operation so i am writing the operations so what are the operations so i am writing the operations i have teach you i have taught you that the operations operations that means what operations that means what first operation is a general operation or we can say general product fine so it is what general product so in the second let us have the dot product so second operation is nothing but dot product and the third operation it is nothing but cross product so dear students we have the three operation of del operator first is general product second is dot product and third one is cross product so now if general product so we have this operator is a vector operator del del is a vector operator so vector is applied with the scalar point function so this is nothing but general product why because vector and scalar multiplied then it is referred as general product so this comes with the gradient so what is the definition of gradient if del operator applied generally or in the form of the general product with a scalar point function then it is referred as gradient so what is the what is the uh, this is what value what is the value exactly it is a scalar or vector so i can see it is a vector quantity the so result of result of gradient is a vector quantity now i am having dot product so the vector del operator dot product that means that means what it uh, will have the dot product with a vector point function then the result of dot product is nothing but this result of del dot some vector is nothing but divergence so it is referred as divergence so it is referred as what divergence and divergence is nothing but a scalar quantity it is nothing but a scalar quantity it is nothing but a scalar quantity and gradient is nothing but what vector quantity so vector quantity okay okay now number next cross cross or curl right cross or curl so i'm having cross that means what del cross product again with a vector quantity and you know the resultant is what it is referred as curl of a vector point function and curl is also a vector quantity so vector is scalar and here we are having what vector quantity so dear students you can see here directly i am creating a shortcut or i am creating a hint for you if we are having the general product then it is related with the gradient g for general g for gradient right if i am having dot product it is related with the divergence so d for dot and d for divergence and if you are related the cross product then yes it comes with the curl so we are having three operations of the del operator so in next video i will tell you the concept of gradient the concept of divergence and concept of curl in a single video with example then we'll have in next video then we'll have our workbook question right so this is the basic this is the starting of the vector differential calculus dear students we have gone through the three dimensional position vector so please remember always del r by del x is equal to x by r del r by del x is equal to y by r and del r by del z is equal to z by r and what is the del operator and what is the unit of del operator and again yes the three operations which is g d and c will come in our next video